Let's give the Lord a clap of praise. Let's be seated. Now, one reminder, ladies and gentlemen, we hate this. Nobody who does not, including me. Cycle that keeps us to be rolling and going on and on, day in, day in and day out, without difference. Day in and day out, uh, monotonously, that we seem to be feeling like things have not changed, everything seems to be boring, without, without challenge, and uh, everything is great. But listen to me, here is the side of the good news. Here's the side to how the Lord, to how God Almighty sees them. And often we do not, you know, uh, notice them. Because as God sees it in this angle, we do as well on the other side. Hello? As God is looking to this direction north, we are to the south. Well indeed, how Prophet Isaiah penned it, that as high are the heavens, so high are His plans and His ways than our plans and our ways. Amen? God has always the last say. And the, and the Lord say, His last say, will always be better, will always be best. Amen? Amen. Which, let's give God a clap of praise. Now, I'd like you to check this with me in this slide. Despite when you are in a cycle, stay faithful. Look to the next person beside you and point your finger this way. Tell him, despite you staying in the cycle, stay faithful. Amen. What? Are we going to talk back about Joseph again? How many years have been? Or was he inside prison? Cycle. We're going to talk about David, whom his father was asked by Samuel, I'm coming here today to anoint one of your sons to be the next king of the kingdom. <gasps> Jesse was shaking, shivering. He was unready, he was unprepared as God's promotion come sudden and come surprising. He thought of his eldest, but was disqualified. Okay, I go to the second, was still disqualified. Anyway, I still have my third card. Went to the third, but none of the three. Okay, he negotiated inside. Jesse said, okay, the fourth, no. The fifth, no. The sixth, no. The seventh, no. Then Samuel was a little uh, in, inside of him, puzzled to what was happening. He was not understanding. He had to confirm to the man, are all your sons now here? <laughs> the old man mistakenly and in error replied, yes, all of my sons are here. How in the world the Lord telling me, not in the seven is to be the next king? Oh my God, oh my God, the old man shook his head. You cannot find that written in detail that way, but check your Bible. The old man almost forgotten his youngest David. Let me tell you, man may forget you, but God the snow! Amen. 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 Let's give the Lord a clap of praise. <laughs> oh my God! Maybe I'm having now my Alzheimer. I still have one son. He's the youngest. He's the last. And he is in the field. Call him. Let's start it. I'm not going to see Dan until I can I can I can see, I can I can touch, I can handle this. This song that you're talking about. Well, Samuel, you know the story. You know the family. Faithfulness is the key. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'd like us to say the word faithfulness is the key. Faithfulness is the key. Why? Because suddenly and surprisingly, God can promote you. Promotion shall surely, definitely, I tell you 100%, come to you, to me. In fact, it belongs to you. It belongs to all of us, to every single person in this building right this very moment. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a clap of praise. <laughs> what I'm excited about to relate to you, ladies and gentlemen, and without ado, quickly, 
about the, na the, nar the narrative of this uh, passage that we are reading. Actually, this is about the love story of Isaac and Rebecca. The Lord gave me this message yesterday morning when I was making my devotion. I asked the Lord, will I share this to you, God? It could be sounding like a brag, but the Lord told me a while, no, glorify me in that testimony you will share. And uh, that can encourage everyone. Brothers and sisters, I would like to encourage you in as much Plan a read of the Bible where you can do it, the whole of the book, in a year time. But be your pastor, I made a prayer to God, did not make a promise, but asked, Lord, as their pastor, I would like to attempt to do it twice as they can do once in a year. So I just finished, for the second time, the New Testament. I am restarting uh, Genesis now. I wish by God's grace I can mail it uh, on December 31, but I started to read the whole year Bible January 19. So whether December 31 or January 13, you have me pray that I can with my my books, my low books, I, I can until uh, December 31. Anyways, that's something which is personal. As I mentioned, it's not one which I, I can brag. And then I got it along yesterday, chapter 24. The love story of Rebecca and, uh, and Isaac. Um, am I free to tell them? Once about pride in church, we are and at Ishai, by the way, uh, in the Vicky. Uh, he's here. By the way, uh, the church deserves to know because we are family. Formerly, last night, <coughs> we are abs. They already proposed to Atishai. I greeted you this morning on, on radio. It was a recorded work. I was wrong to say at uh, April 26. Ladies and gentlemen, plot this in your calendar because is everyone invited? Uh, abs. Re ready this for three years and that's how I am estimating praise God I'm so not shy prepare this for three years that's why I'd like to encourage uh, let their love story become an inspiration so it's going to be April 20, 24 let's give God love and praise <laughs> now I must presume uh, they're going to happen in an afternoon or morning. Well, lunch. Afternoon, I think. Okay. Then I was reminded of how the Lord spoke to me that morning yesterday. Let's begin by checking to how this, what the Bible calls still him as a young man. Isaac, when he hit 40 years old, his father was already, I think, 128. Abraham? No. 140. He was born, he was born uh, with his father 100. And his father was already old and was a little worried for his son. He said, oh, my wife Sarah already dead. I'm now 140. But my son is still satisfied, you know, with with his with his pet and uh, and the farm and the animals, I don't know if he has inclinations or he has plans whatsoever to marry to win. So no personally the story check out, and you can find actually the one who arranged for the wedding and the marriage of Isaac was his father, Isaac. Oh, the the one who arranged the, uh, the marriage of Isaac was his father Abraham. Now God actually gave Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob a strict instruction that when they were to wed, when they were to marry, they were not to pick amongst the women in Canaan. I will have to uh, give you, I, I think, 
for a whole Sunday for a good lecture for the reason why. But for now, I'll just give you one. Because the people there in the entire uh, territory of the Promised Land in Canaan, before Israel was able to establish, you know, their kingdom uh, in the Promised Land, the whole of the people there, every single, every single kingdom was defiled. Their bloodline. And God Almighty wouldn't want that the bloodline of the Messiah would be dirty, would be polluted of the defilement of the people in the place. Hello, are you still there, amen? Yes. It's like saying, when you drink your water, please do it with clean one, you know, with sanitized one, with potable one. Tell me, when you go home, will you go to your canals and get your glass and drink your water from that dirty canal? Hello, are you with me, amen? Amen. Are you still there? Amen. No. That's how the Lord was saying. That's why when Abraham was already old, he commanded, asked the eldest of his servants, telling him by the name of Eliezer. He was such also a faithful servant. Say the word, say the name Eliezer. Do not go to this or to that direction, only strictly to my father's family. You go to the family of Bit, uh, you go to the family of Bit, Bithuel. Bithuel was actually, you know, a brother brother of Abraham. We're talking here about the Old Testament where people in the planet were only a few. In fact, they can even marry their own sister. Abraham and Sarah were actually half brother and half sister. You see, you, you just imagine. Uh, he was telling his servant, you go to my brother. I want that his daughter to become the wife of my son. Meaning, Rebecca and Isaac were actually cousins. Uh, this, we're talking about another covenant. The covenant of the patriarchs. We are now in the new covenant. Please do not, like, say, oh, I have an excuse now to you. In the more my, my cousin. You know the passage that we read a while ago was the prayer of uh, the servant. He was, he was now in the land of Ur. Land of Ur is part of uh, the territory of now the modern day Iraq. Are you still there, amen? Yes. And you know the servant, Eliezer, bowed, prostrated, prayed to the God of Abraham. He was talking out to God because Abraham gave him a clear-cut instruction. You know, a step one, step two, step three, step four instruction. I mean, Abraham was really seeing to it that the will of God can be fulfilled for his son. Are you still with me, amen? Yeah. Now, the last instruction was, the angel of the Lord shall go with you. Capital letter A, this is Jesus in the Old Testament. May. Jesus as well, every day in our lives, in every decision that we make, will give us the guidance that we need. That we need. Amen? Amen? Let's give God a praise. Imagine, the Bible said, before Eliezer could finish her word or his words, suddenly, as he lifted up his head, he saw in his eyes, a beautiful woman appeared from the horizon, wow, and was carrying a jar and approaching to the well where he stopped and he was to give a test. Now listen to me ladies and gentlemen, every time we go up one step higher, it's a result because we made it to a test that God gave us. Are you with me, amen? Amen. Let's give God a clap of praise. What is the meaning? Don't you know that even before we can finish our prayer, before we can finish the last line that we are talking to God, God already heard us. 
God already sent the rescue and the answer of our prayer. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Second semester just started. It was our second week last Friday. In the low school, every semester means to be new set of books. I did tell Sister Dahlia and uh, she knows how to respond. She also, three words of faith to me, God shall provide. And uh, our professors were still reluctantly meeting us, except for one, uh, whom I really looking up to, he's a friend and is also a Christian, the boss of Sister Daisy, si your tito, uh, Greg, si Antonio Plagada. I know he would encourage us to buy a book. It's the book that I wanted to buy. It was to meet on a Thursday, and the Lord blessed Sister Delia and I just enough on a Wednesday. So I went to buy my book. And you know what? When he met us last uh, Thursday, amongst like 35 students in the class, I was the only and the, and the first to have the book. That's how good our God is. Before you could finish your life, God will send His angels to take charge of you. Amen? Amen. What the Lord said, we are not to worry, but to seek Him first, His kingdom and His righteousness, and all of these things will just be added unto us. Amen? Amen. Let's give Him praise. My God, Amen. Amen. So, that's it. Sabi ng servant si Elizar, bago siya maging bride ng anak ng master ko, kailangan papasa muna siya sa mga pagsubok. On the back of the side, or on the, on the back of the brain of the servant, he was not to ordinarily pick, you know, anybody who can become the bride what is this of uh, his master's son? Our parents here. I know. Also at the Vicky, they, you know, weigh cakes and test the abs. Abs, I got you a good news, son. You just passed all of the tests. Hey, na kita mo si at the Vicky last night talaga kung iya, kasi si at ishay. Uh, mahal na mahal na mahal na mahal na mahal na daughter in a free knowledge. Thanks God. Pagbibigay tayo like the Father ang binibigay natin mahal na mahal na mahal na mahal natin. Huwag mo yung ibigay yung sa Panginoon, sa work ni God o kahit na tulong mga kapatid. Ay, hindi ko na kasi ito gusto eh. Uh, Alala ko yung sinabi ni Sister Delia, panahon daw Christmas, kasi may magbubababa. Sabi niya, mag-stay aside lang ha. Yung mga underwears na wala ng ano, garter at saka rand, pinipigay pa din. Thanks God, hindi gano'n ang gags. <laughs> Let's give the Lord a cloud of praise. At bago ibigay, Kailangan, ano, exchange na, ano, ng manok, manok. <laughs> ang test ni Elizar, kailangan ang babae to must be diligent. Rebecca approached and offered water to the servant. And the second time around, offered not just for him, but for his camel's water. And the third time, the woman offered for Elizar, I would like to feed for your camels. And number four, he, she was telling to the servant, uh, in the house we have an inn, or in the house we have an extra room, and we still have many foods. And you know you can stay in our place, would you like? And the man, according to, to the last verse, in verse 21, and this is the key verse, this, Okay. 
Exactly. Ito yung sabi sa verse 21, the last. Are I still there? Amen? Amen. And the man gazed at her silence. What is gaze ba? Tinitingnan. At siya, ito na si Kuya Ano, no? Pag hindi ka nakatingin, ikaw, ikaw, siya, eh, mabilin mo. Tinitingin ka, ano? Biro kuya, amin hindi namin nante. Hindi nakatingin, nakatingin din. Eh, tinititigan. Tinititigan niya ang silence ng babae. To learn, everybody yells and shout. To learn, come on. To learn. Now, I need to hear you say loud and say, To learn. Whether the Lord had prospered his journey or not. In other words, he was testing if she really was already the woman. Now listen to me as I said a while ago. Despite when you're in a cycle, stay faithful. Because suddenly and surprisingly, God shall promote you. I would like to speak three things. First is, God tests us to qualify us to the next level. Amen? Amen. Prapano na to si Lord? Ganun talaga yun eh. Si Lord, tinitest niya si Rebecca kung siya ba ay karapat dapat para sa kanyang master. Paano mo si Rebecca? Pagdating niya, pagdating niya sa well, si Rebecca Panay uh, murmur, tatay ko, palaging utos ng utos sa akin. Tapos yung kanyang jar, binabagsak. Tapos, si Lizer, napikusap sa kanya, sino ka man, hindi kita kilala. Good morning. What is good in the morning? <laughs> Marunong naman yung lalaki na kukuha ng tubig, pero sabi niya, pwede sana ang pakishare Sabi niya, yan, 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 dito yung tubig. Ah, hindi lang niya binigyan ng glass, kung hindi yung isang ano talaga, container, imagine, painumin mo isang tao, isang container. Galante. Mapagbigay. O tayo pala ay mag-aasawa, no? Babae man o lalaki, yun isa sa mga quality natin. Huwag mag-asawa ng laga. <laughs> Tarpakan natin si Lord. <laughs> Pinainom niya ang kanyang, ano, kanyang kamel. Alam ba ninyo ilang balde? Ilang galon? Mauubos ng ano, kamelyo para lang makainom? Eh, may hands yun sa likod eh. Babaeng babae. Kaya nga, tinitingnan ko si... Ati natin lang ito ha? Sa bayas talaga ko. Tinitingnan ko si Helen sa likod. Hindi ko pasagat-pasagat sa akin eh. <laughs> Later, pumunta kay... Punta ko si Stedelia. Si Stedelia, si Craig ko sa akin. Parang pasagin na din sa akin si Ed. <laughs> Pero wag muna yun. <laughs> Grabe, babae ha. Karga ng karga. At saka alam niya maghanap ng iway up. Hindi niya alam na yun palang tao niyo, sugo pala. Sabi po ng Hebrews, sino mang papasok sa atin, aakit sa bahay natin na istanghero, huwag daw natin uh, pahintulutan na sila ay aalis na hindi magkakain, na hindi natin ma may pakita yung pag-ibig. Sapagat karamihan daw sa atin, hindi natin alam, Iilan sa kanila po ay mga anghel. Pinapadala, hindi sabihin mga messengers ng Panginoon. Amen. Amen. Palapakan na natin si Lord. That is why the man sent, talking to himself, gazing and watching in all of the angles. And then his heart witnessed, his spirit witnessed, she is the one. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, God Almighty espoused us for our group, Jesus Christ. He sent the Holy Spirit like Elizar. 
to qualify you and to me every step of the way. We do not deserve, we are not worthy. But the Holy Spirit qualifies us through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody says, Amen. 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 Would you read that way? Would you read that line with me? The count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. God tests us to qualify us. Say, dear, dear nothing. Dear, they may be nothing to you, but they mean, they mean a lot to God Almighty. I remember, ladies and gentlemen, it was last year during the seeds. Kasi hindi mo tayo pwede makalabas nun, no? Yung kiera. Doon lang tayo sa bahay. Yung hindi marunong makinig sa radyo, kaya namin, talaga tayo nakatutok tayo sa akin mo yun, ano po, nung panahon na yun, di ba? Kasi sila yung nag-cover <coughs> blow by blow by blow. By blow. Nagkikinig tayo yung, uh, yung si Bob, si Bao, kibigan ko yun. Di ba, mga balita, dito na kami, uh, takyo kami, uh, dito na, Riondo, El Para, Marines, di ba, mga rin, Marino, di ako, no? Uh, uh, takilya na, takilya na, ako, ako, kung dahil nagkikinig kayo, kaya ang mga bala, at sila ako, ta, bulahan niya, makinote doon, de, ay, tiyan ay, 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 tiyan ay, ako, ano, na, soldado ba niya, ay, na, balda ko niya, no, dahil nung pwede, di ba? Talaga, uy! Helicopter aray! Yan kaya bomba! O, tiyan na kami kung ano niya ako, sniper! Di ba? Alay ka kita kayo, no? Pati ako din. Imagine na, for more than 21 days yun kasi yung sage took 22 days. Imagine na, every day, lock. Nakalak ako dun sa sa radyo. And you know what? Nung pakikinig ko pala sa radyo, nandun man si Sister Dele, yung family, pati yung pusa, nakatingin sa akin. But I didn't know, on that moment and on that time, actually God Almighty was watching me. Testing me. And maybe was qualifying me for something real next. On another level. I'll are you there, amen? amen. When during during the war, like you, I prayed for the soldiers. I prayed for our city. And because you know these anchors, some of them are my friends. I have their numbers. I would just send messages to them. And my message, they would, you know, read live. I don't know if you heard my name often. And the word of God I am sending, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, do not just take it ordinary. I tell you, do not just take it like nothing. Every time you call the word of God, and when it comes out to you, it is power. For the word of God is life and spirit. The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword, that it will pierce asunder and divide the spirit and the soul. The word of God is eternal. Amen. The Word of God is a life. Amen. The Word of God is the way, the truth, and the life. The Word of God is Jesus. Amen. The when you speak the Word of God, the Word of God will not return to Him void. But it shall accomplish. It shall do to what the Lord wants, to what He desires in the earth. Praise be to the living God. Let's give Him a clap of praise. And long story short, maybe God was watching me. And the Lord telling me, Time now, son, you're not just to send messages. You're not just to connect to these radio anchors. I'm just thinking, that happening, you know, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, because everything that the Father wills in this world actually is a concurrence of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. You know what is concurrence? It's a legal word. Concurrence is agreement. Hello, amen. amen. Another word. Another word. Kavya. You know this kavya? Kav kav kavya is a warning. <laughs> another word is ad hoc. You know this ad hoc? Temporary. Uh, anyways. So, ladies and gentlemen. 
the Lord was watching, I can, I, I can just be thinking, testing me, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, talking to each other, time now for this boy, time now for this servant, to go and have it on board, have it on the radio station. I tell you, when the Lord promotes you, you will always be called of God. Hello, amen. amen. Friday morning yun eh. Pag ipopromote tayo ng Panginoon, sining sigurado ni Lord yung wala pa tayong ligo. Yung hindi pa nga tayo nakapamahaw eh. Friday, Friday yun. 6, 15 in the morning. Ako po eh, nag-aayos sa bed namin. May isa pong number tumawag sa akin, hindi may nakaregister. Isang kaibigan ko. Umaga-umaga. Hindi ko inakala at saka uh, in-expect yung kanyang call. Pastor Bernie! Pastor Bernie! Yes! Who is this? Pastor, si I mentioned, Oh, bro! Unexpectedly, you're using a number. Ah, tanggap ko, tanggap ko, tanggap ko. Pastor, may long story short telling me, uh, in media, would like to meet me. And I started to God be the glory on a July 6. I think on a July 6. It was a Sunday. Yeah, my first Sunday. And now, hello world, hello Zamboanga. You are tuning in to E105.9 News FM. This is your friend, Mr. Nice Guy, and you are listening to your favorite program, Sunday Difference. It is now November 23. Unbelievably, there are only how many days before Christmas? I tell you, it's 32 more days. See? And uh, the first 15 minutes of our music will all be Christmas songs. I failed to say earlier, well, I'd like to do it right now. Happy Merry Christmas to everyone, all of you there listening. Kaya yung mga ordinary things sa buhay natin, take them seriously, do them faithfully, because God is testing. Amen? Amen. The next is, it wasn't just enough for Rebecca to be Big 12's wife or daughter. She was to pass the test. Everybody says, pass the test. Pass the test. Hindi kumo born again ka na. Hindi ko mo anak ka na ng Panginoon. Kasi sabi ng Bible, if you're a child of God, blessings belong to you. Ah, Lord, kasi anak na ko sa iyo, anak na ko ni mo. Blessings uh, sa akin na, Panginoon. Kaya nga, okay lang. Uh, okay lang natamad ako. Hindi, amen. amen. Kasi anak ako ni mo, Panginoon, okay na, hindi ako maghanap ng trabaho. Uh, kasi anak ako ni mo, Lord, Okay na hindi ako mag-pray. Kasi anak ako ni mo, Lord, okay na hindi ako magbasa ng Bible. Anyway, makapunta man ako sa church, makarinig man ako ng verses. Fact, meron akong Bible verse eh. Minimorize ko na Panginoon. Sabi ng John 3.16, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. <laughs> Baliktan na lang. <laughs> so, hindi. Kaya ni... Rebecca, kasabi kasi ni Abraham, kailangan anak ni Bidwell. Kahit anak na ni Elisar na yung babae, anak ni Bidwell, sabi niya, kailangan papa sa padinsya. You know, the test that I'm talking about is faithfulness. Say the word faithfulness. Faithfulness. The cross born us into the kingdom. But we must walk. We must need to walk. Baliktad <laughs> We must need to walk in faithfulness in the Lord. Huh? The cross brought us into the kingdom. Amen? Amen. Amen. Pero kailangan faithful tayo. Amen? Amen. Uh, 
maliyere. Ano pa tayo ni Lord, no? Papa natin, whole family, mga, ano, mga Levites. Tawag nito. Mag-take tayo ng board exam ngayong February. Sabi natin, March. Sigurado na ako kasi Lord, alam mo ako eh. Amen. I do not say, hindi ako mag-study. Study naman si Berlin. Do not say, okay na, magpansin-pansin ako. Hindi, amen? Hello, I still there. Amen. We need to prove to God, we need to show to God that we are serious. We need to show to the Almighty that we're not playing games. Are you there? Amen? Amen. Amen. We need to show to the Lord that as He is doing His part, because almost everything is from His or from Him. And only a little comes from us. The best that we could do are the least in the pie. But the least that God could do is the most in the whole. Hello, are you there? Amen. Amen. And lastly, brothers and sisters, here we go. Remember, just do not dismiss little trials or tests because they are our ladders to God's promotions. So, ano man yung mga tests at saka mga trials po natin, though how little they may be, how insignificant they may be, do not dismiss them. Say the word, do not dismiss them. 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 Because all of them are God's promotions. Here is an example. All the apostles in the New Testament were called by God personally by Jesus when they were unaware. Ha? Si Matthew, si Matthew ah, alam ba ninyo na sa apat na four Gospels, ang pinakahabang, pinakamahabang ano, chapter, si Matthew, chapter <coughs> 28 chapters 28 si John only 23 or 24 si Matthew wrote ano 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 ba ang background ni Matthew are you still there <coughs> si Matthew <coughs> whose former name was Levi at trabaho niya was a tax collector <coughs> and he was used to record Every day, eight hours, walang trabaho, ibang trabaho si Levi. Kung hindi, sino yung nagbabayad sa tax? Sinusulat na yun. Lahat ng detalyo, anong oras, magkano, saan, tagad. Ganoon. Tsaka nakapila yun. Are you there? Amen? So yun, faithfully. Nung si Lord, tinawag niya si, si Levi, he came to the small window and talk to the man. Is your name Levi? Yes. Come and follow me. Right away, he left the place, locked the kiosk, left the money and everything, turn around and follow the Lord. Everybody just complained. I've been from Jerusalem or I've been from this town and I came to pay my tax. Look at you. You just stand your back away from me and everybody just cursed. Everybody in anger. You know, uh, cleanse their fist against this man, but this man, this smiles right up to here. I'm now following the Savior. And Jesus talked to him in private, tucked his shoulder, beginning today, I shall change your name to Matthew. Hello, amen. Ganun din si, ano, si, si John. Alam ba ninyo na si John, very loyal, at mahal na mahal niya ang kanyang kuya. At saka ang best friend niya. Ang kanyang kuya kasi was James. At ang best friend po at saka mentor ni John was Peter. While they were fishing, the Lord found them. Kahit na yung, ano, yung three and a half years sabay-sabay si, sumasabay si ano, John kay Jesus, Palagi ini-express talaga niya yung pag-ibig kay Lord. Kumakan nung pangasa ka niya yun, di ba? Alala niyo? Tinanong niya, sino sa amin ang 
Ngayon pa ito magbubudhi sa iyo. Sa Bisaya ko nagtatry doon is magbudhi ba? Kinsa ka na mo ang magbudhi ka ninyo? Kino ko? Ken ko na nun ay mantrayo ko no? Eh. Sino sa amin ang tatry doon sa iyo? Kumandong yun siya na? Eh ngayon, Sinulat lahat, five Gospels. Ano pala? One Gospel, three Epistles, at one book, another book, the Book of Revelation. Amen! Amen! Kung saan ka nahanap ng Panginoon, chances are, yun din ang ministry mo, and yun din ang ipopromote ni Lord sa'yo. Amen? Amen! When the Lord found you gathering His trashes, and then you lay His judgment, Ganun din ang calling ng Panginoon sa iyo. Pupunta ka sa mga tao, i-change mo ang kanilang buhay, God will use you to clean their lives. And maybe, one day, as God will promote you, gaya ng isang kaibigan ko, din ko namin, siya po'y tagapulot lang ng basura noon. Ngayon po, isa sa mga pinakabatikang lawyers sa Region 9. Siya ngayon, nililinis niya ang buhay ng mga tao. Are you with me? Amen? Palapakan na natin si Lord. Quickly, two minutes na lang. Naalala ko nun minsan, si Ara, simula yun kay uh, Glyza, si Ate Glam, si Ara at saka si Jen. Then later, Si, well, I'll include siguro si Eya, and then si Margie. Siguro the line will continue, sino ka ba dyan? Si Glyza ba? Kasi, how many sisters they are, and brother? Si Papa, is a retired, pero how much lang anak ng ano ang retirement? So ang bata, nag-ambisyon talaga na makalabas. Prayer! Kabats mo yun, ate, di ba? Si, uh, Kuya Armstrong, yun ang mga letters ninyo. We have prayed. And it was four years ago. Babalik daw, buhay siya biglang, don't I feel glory. Thanks God. Nung nakalis na si, ano, ati glang, at may propose na, ano? Two years later, kumaduate si, ano, si, uh, Ati Ara, si Ara, kapatid ni Kuya Andy. Ikaw, pag-nurse ikaw, pag may kasama ka sa church, nagpo-post na, siya nakikita mo, mag-feel mo yun. Ikaw, may kapatid, may isang member sa church, bini-bless ng Panginoon, makikita mo yun, hindi man yun MV, hindi yun selos, pero mag-feel mo yun. You just wait, because God will have your own perfect time. Amen. Ganun din ang na-feel ni Ati Ara. Nag-pray tayo. Daming nag-apply. Imagine, sa pwedeng mangyari, bakit yun, ah, sa pwedeng maraming chances mangyari, bakit yun pa? Na yung nag interview taga sa Buanga, at nag interview kaibigan ng kanyang mama. Nung nakita siya, 200 ang nag-apply, walo lang ang kukunin. May close to research, alam na. Di ba? Sabi mo daw, alam na Lord. Ayaw ko di, kinawa siya talagang kalis. Isang araw nun, kala ko kalis na. Pastor, pagpipray mo ako kasi yung ano ko, yung physical exam ko, yung lungs ko, may problema daw. So, prayer na din kami, Pastor. Three days later, okay na. The next thing, tumawag. Dito na ako sa... Ano, Pastor, dito na ako sa airport, sa Terminal 1. I would just like to say thank you. Si Ati Shai Kagabi, uh, nag-share siya ng tax. Kasi si Amam talaga, kinala ko ito. Anak ko ito eh. Ati, tuto yan. Man of few words, pasalita yan mo yan. Mali, mali pa talaga ang iba. <laughs> Kasi man of few words. Tanungin mo si Tita Delia. Pero si Ati Shai, ano yan? Tawag dito. Liwat, liwat na sa kuha, di ba ate? Ang <laughs> galing, ang galing yan, no? Kahit hating gabi ate, sukulta ate, no? To God be the glory. So, 
Introduction niyo ni Ate Shai sa mga poskolwela. Mas nag-shay na siya ng times kay mommy, kay daddy. And then I was watching. I was listening. Then all of a sudden, she shifted and thanked me. Being her spirit. So I was not expecting it happen because it was all the family. But I appreciate it. I can hardly get over it, even this morning. Then I said, Lord, very nice. What a privilege to serve you. Now, when you minister to other people, you actually are serving God. And it's such a privilege. Amen? Lagpagaman natin si God. Ando na si Ate Ara. Don't you know every eight months, umuwi si Ate Ara? Sweldo ni Ate Ara, 40, 45,000. Have you been to the house of Ati Ara ni Nakuya Ati recently, di ba? Hindi pa man yung tapos. Pag bumaba, bumaba din sa ano lang. Pero ngayon, hindi na. Ganda na lang nilang house. No? Then si Ati Jen. Look, iba si Ati Jen. No? Si Sister Rose. Mahal lang talaga yan si Sister Rose. Si Mikoy Koy. And then si Jen. Ha? Yeah, si Jen. May close story shoot, nakalabas si Ate, Ate Jen, si Jenelina, Jenelino, Jenelino, Jenelino. <laughs> Don't you know that every eight months, Ate Jen also goes home. December always si Ate. At January, no? Praise God. And then, si Ate Elia, no? Mom, gusto ko kung help ninyo ni Papa. So pray kami na makalabas si Ate Eya. Nakalabas si Ate Eya. O ngayon si Kamalil, mag-take ng boy. Ang ano niya, yung babayarin. Sa ano, dito sa good kasi may RA na dito. Kailangan ng 20,000. Kasi si Stadelia talked to me, God shall provide. Ganito yun. Pag may mga needs kayo, bago mo yung i-estimate sa, sa brain mo, bago ka mag-comment, Wag, wag ka nang mag, ano, wag ka nang mag, uh, do not bother, do not bother to figure them out. Right away, alam na. Ang lalabasan na natin, God shall provide. Amen. Lagpangan natin si Lord. Let's follow the father of faith, Abraham, while he was bringing his son, and the Lord telling him to slaughter, offer him in the mouth. The son asked him, where is our offering, Dad? Abba, the Lord shall provide. Everybody shouts and yells, the Lord shall provide. The Lord shall provide.